Hey, welcome back. So, the audio might be weird this week because I think I broke my microphone, my blue, the blue snowball that I've had for what, three years? Because I was just testing it and it was making this really crackly noise. I think it's broken because I dropped it. <laughs> um, so I have to use the, the microphone on the camera, which I don't think is very good. So I don't know what's gonna happen, but hopefully it's still watchable. Um, but those microphones are pretty cheap. I could just get another one. They're like $50. Um, yeah, I'm glad I'm playing Peggle. It's a little less stressful than Halo. So that's a good week to do that. Um, guess what? A lot more improv stuff this week. And... Every day, probably, for the end of time, I'm just gonna be talking about improv stuff. At least while I do this class, because every time I go, it's like, I think of a lot of stuff to talk about. So I, I've done two classes and I have two more. I went to the second one yesterday. And dare I say, I think it was fun. I remember, I mean, when I was going, my parents and like the therapists were like, oh, it's, that sounds like fun, that's gonna be fun. And I, I, I had the thought like, how? It doesn't make sense, how, what do you mean fun? It's, it can't be fun. But it was fun to play like characters and stuff. So I guess I'll tell you what I did. Um, what was the best part? Uh, I liked, so this week, this guy's a really good teacher. This week we did, um, we focused on status. Status of characters. What's the status of your character? Is he high status? Is he low status? Is he middle status? Is he higher status than the other character? Is he lower status than the other character? Um, so the first time we did that, what did we do? I think we did a game where... So the scene, here's the scene. <laughs> we were waiting for an improv show, I think that was the scene. Can I get a suggestion? A suggestion from the audience. Um, waiting for an improv scene. Okay. I, ready, waiting for an improv show. Like, in the line. So all three of us were characters. And... Um, he says... Okay. Everybody stands still. And on a scale from 1 to 10, imagine like your posture and how you're acting. Give yourself a number on what status you are, like 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest. And so I'm like, I'm probably like a 3 or a 4, like low status. Like kind of slouchy or whatever. And so then he said, okay, now do this scene towards the other end of what you are. So if you're low, go high. If you're high, go low. So I had to go high. And I thought, and I was proud of myself that I actually was able to do this. Um, I was like, I know what like high status arrogant people do. I know what they do. So I could just, okay, just be that person. Just do what they would do. Um, and it and, and doing it in the scene gives you permission to do it because it's not me. I'm not doing it. <laughs> so like I would never do this in real life because I kind of hate those people. But it's fun to play them. <laughs> so right when the scene started, I kind of I kind of strode up to the other guy and I went in for a big handshake and I was like, Hey, Steve, how the hell are you? <laughs> Um, and then Steve, I think, was doing a, another high status character. So he was like, yeah, I'm doing, this show's going to be amazing. I can't wait to get in there and I'm going to be yelling at people. <laughs> and 
I I did a good job at first, but then I did start to get like more me towards like the end of it because I'm like, okay, I don't now I don't know what to do. <laughs> so I just kind of fell back into myself. Um So what else? Yeah, that's kind of what I did. I, I, I didn't do. I, I want to get more practice doing that kind of a character because it it felt interesting <laughs> to be that person. Um. So I was like, yeah, I can't wait for this freaking show is gonna be amazing. And I was like trying to raise my voice and stand up straighter. Like, ah. Uh. Oh, and then so the the third girl was being a low status character. And she was kind of like hiding in the corner. And so after we were done talking, the other guy goes up to her. And he's like, <laughs> um, he starts talking to her and she doesn't really say anything. And he's like, hey, what, what, what's the matter with you? You all right? And then I went up to him and I was like, hey, what are you doing? You picking on her? <laughs> that, that felt like fun. I don't know. <laughs> um, I did like that. to try to to have a perspective of like okay this is that was always super helpful to, to be doing something and be like okay act like this whatever happens like you're this kind of a person you're the kind of person who's always going to be talking and finding a way to insert yourself and and your opinions and, and then you think you're amazing we did one scene where um, we were in a grocery store and he was eating a pineapple he's like oh I'm gonna eat this pineapple and he was being a low status character and then I came up and I was like hey that's look that looks like a good pineapple I'm gonna eat it I'm gonna take it or can I have it or something and then I took it and I was like, yeah, I love pineapples. I grow a million pineapples in my pineapple orchard. <laughs> I liked, and like being cocky and like, like I knew everything. This level's hard. But that was a good shot. Ooh, that was a real good shot. kind of want to pace myself on this topic because I don't really have much else to well I'm meeting somebody on Sunday so I could talk about that too um, so this is the last thing I'll say I guess about the yeah the status we played a game where um, Someone would give you a topic. So, so the idea is to start with the most like anodyne ex a a thing in the world, like nothing. Like the game's called It's Tuesday. So you can just start by saying it's Tuesday. Um, I remember one of my suggestions was I have a paper cut. And then the other person has to react to that like it's the most important thing in the world and they're so happy or scared or angry about it. So when it came to me, um, I remember the guy before me went and he was having a hard time being loud. He wasn't being very loud. And the teacher was like, get, get up, get up. <laughs> so then when it came to me, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna really yell the first time I start like the first word I say I'm gonna be like bleh <laughs> um I actually I don't know what he does what does he do charges up the ball each peg zaps two more pegs oh whatever um and I had a really hard time like I tried to I, I like before every scene that we did I was like I tried to 
set myself a little bit and it did kind of help even though I still do that stupid thing where I'm like smiling all the time. Um, I kind of kept my, I was like, okay, I'm gonna start. <laughs> and then they gave me the suggestion and I wasn't looking at them. I was closing my eyes and I was like, okay, ready? And then I was about to say something. I was like, no, get, wait, give me a second. <laughs> and I couldn't, um, I couldn't get it out. And then he was like, okay, well, uh, it's okay, it's okay. We'll give you another suggestion. And then I did the same thing. I was like, I can't, I can't do it. Like, I want to start high, but I can't yell. It's, uh, and I even told him, like, I don't think I've ever yelled before in my life, and I'm, and I'm trying to get there, and it's hard. <laughs> Um, but eventually I didn't really yell because we tried that like three times and I could never start so he's like okay don't worry about yelling like you can still be high status and you can still be excited without yelling so just try it um, and the first the first thing you do is stand up like really fast so I'm like okay I can do that like you're excited about something so my suggestion was um, and I felt like I did a decent decent job we did he was like oh these markers are really dry so that was the the benign thing And then I had to get like, so I stood up and I was like, those markers are dry. I just bought them yesterday or something. <laughs> um, I don't know. I really liked doing that. And I was able to kind of get into it and not try to make jokes. But I did make a joke. Uh, this is so bad, just talking about improv, because, <laughs> but I was, it was happy, because I did, yes, yeah, I made, like, three or four jokes that I thought were genuinely funny, maybe I can talk, tell them more tomorrow, like, they weren't jokes, but they were just, like, conversational, I don't know, it was, it, it felt good. To, to be that was, that was like silly or I don't know that's who I want to be that's the person I want to be it's freaking improv I mean I think I've always been kind of <laughs> like improv is lame right <laughs> so I, I was like I, I don't want this to be my thing it's so stupid <laughs> like is this really going to be my thing Yes, it is. It's the thing that's helped me the most in my entire life, so it has to be, even if it's super lame. And I guess that's probably why it helps, because of how lame it is, because, like, I'm afraid of being lame, and that's why it helps so much. So it is, like, the lamest thing, <laughs> and that's why it helps me so much. Um, okay, I gotta end. But my joke. So he, so the game was like start, start at a ten and just, even though it's this dumbest thing, like the markers are dry, who cares, and just act like it's the most important thing. So I was, I, I took, I was always, always kind of angry when I was at a ten. So I was like, oh, the markers, like, I just got those. They shouldn't be dry. And then he said he was doing, I was doing it with the teacher, and he's really good. And he was like, it doesn't, he's like, I don't know, I don't remember, I, all I remember is, the, is my punchline was like, yeah, that's why I'm at a 10 right now, because these stupid, I don't know, it's, it sounds dumb, but like, it felt good to say, to, I don't know, what's stupid, I'll tell you some better jokes tomorrow that I made. <laughs> But the teacher laughed at it, so 
it felt good to be for people to react positively to things that I was saying that, that never happens um, even when I do therapy it's like when I talk to the therapists they're very like serious kind of and sometimes I'll make a joke but they won't laugh because it's like oh is he serious um, but in improv everybody is already already kind of like they want to laugh so any little thing they'll be like oh ho, ho, ho. <laughs> and it's nice so I'll see you tomorrow Bye. <laughs>